After the siege that happened on May 23, 2017 in Marawi City, which lasted for five months leaving 800 militants, 162 deceased soldiers, and relocated about 200,000 Marawi residents. President Duterte declared on October 17, 2017 that the crisis in the city is finally over. The military achieved the victory and justice they deserved, which also marks the beginning of the recovery for the residents. He also allocated 10 billion peso budget for the rehabilitation of Marawi City from the Department of Budget and Management in which it will expire by the end of the year 2019. And an estimated budget of 72.20 billion peso is needed for the rehabilitation. Comprehensive Rehabilitation and Reconstruction Program, or BMCRRP, said that 17.20 billion would be allotted for the recovery of the most affected area. 1.25 billion will be spent for livelihood assistance, 6.9 billion for humanitarian assistance. June 2017, China helped in donating firearms and weapons worth 370 million peso to help Filipino troops battling with Islamic militants. 15 million was also contributed by them for relief assistance. Jiselin Ding, chair of Marawi-based civic organization, Moro Consensus Group, thanked the Chinese firms. However, he did not want any involvement with the Chinese firms for the reason that they might take control of the city, and instead blamed the agreements being made with them for the delay of the rehabilitation. We are afraid, especially we have Lake Lano as a resource. We don't want to see Chinese firms taking control of. If we can't repay the cost they will incur, in rebuilding our city, Leninding said. The Chief of Task Force Bangon Marawi, or TFBM, Secretario Eduardo Del Rosario, said in an interview on Thursday, November 28, 2019, that the government has started the construction of infrastructures on December. That's why we have been saying that by December, the input projects that will be undertaken in the most affected area will commence, Del Rosario stated. He also chairs the Housing Urban Development and Coordinating Council, or HUDCC, announced that the clearing operation and the debris management were almost done. The priority projects are 200 classroom school buildings, 24 barangay halls with health centers and madrasa, Grand Padian Market, 50-bed hospital and Peace Memorial Park to start these government projects between December 2019 to March 2020 with the goal of completing its rehabilitation by the year 2025. 